Are you scared anytime you get an email from a gig economy company? Should you be worried? Why do they send emails to us? Are they exactly being truthful all the time? My name is Russ and I'm here to help drivers like you. I got an email from Uber recently and in this email they stated that California Supreme Court is going to review Prop 22. Further, they said that 87% of drivers are in favor of Prop 22. And I'm just curious, where did they get those numbers? Did they find them on their own? They warned that if Prop 22 is overturned, things are going to look different because we'll be treated as employees. So as drivers, we may have to compete for an open job or be on shift work. Now, I'm not here today to discuss Prop 22. All the gig economy companies from the beginning could have paid drivers very well, and then there would have been no need to go a legal route. They could even start right now. Why wait for legal action? If you've already shopped, delivered, or done rideshare for these companies, how have they treated you? I think based on your experience, you can already get an idea if these companies have your interests in mind or someone else's. One thing to look at, how is your base pay, excluding tips? Are you paid fairly for that? Also, have you ever been accused of not doing something that is a part of your job? And worse yet, have you been deactivated? How did that turn out? And also something to consider, when you interact with their customer service functions, how are you treated? Do you feel like they're listening to you and taking action to solve your concerns? Yes, businesses are out to make money. Shouldn't they value the workers that interact with the customers who are paying all of our paychecks? Now, the last sentence in the email is very telling. It says, whatever the ruling may be concerning Prop 22, we will continue to fight for your right to work the way you want and for the benefits you deserve. So at the end of this email, why wait? What are they waiting for? If they're on our side, they could already take action. They don't need a Prop 22 or a law like this in any other state. They could just start paying us appropriately. So please share in the comments below. Why do you think gig app companies are not taking responsibility on how they treat their workers? Us, independent contractors. So the next time you get an email from one of these companies, you don't necessarily need to be scared. You should be on your guard and be worried. Do they have your best interests at mind? Now, some of you may not be aware, some of the gig economy companies hide the tips. So in this video here, I have proof showing that Uber Eats hides tips over $8. Don't forget to like the channel, like this video, and I'm gonna see you on this one.